5-HTP is one of the best nootropics for increasing serotonin levels. But should you really supplement it? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if those topics interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna talk about 5-HTP and I'm gonna share with you my experience with 5-HTP and tell you if I recommend it or not. Oh, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you who should definitely avoid supplementing 5-HTP. So stay with me till the end. Now, 5-HTP is a compound that is a known precursor to serotonin. And as you may know, serotonin is a very important neurotransmitter that controls our sleep, our appetite, and mood. And if the levels of serotonin are too low in our brain, then we may be in a very bad mood, we may have issues with appetite and so on. But if the levels of serotonin are too high, you may have issues with fever and even with seizures. So you need to be careful about that. Now 5-HTP supplement is usually given to people who have certain types of depression, but also to people who have issues with cingulate gyrus. And cingulate gyrus is a part of our brain region that is responsible for cognitive flexibility. Now, if you wanna learn more about the benefits of 5-HTP, click up here and watch my video about it. So I've decided to try 5-HTP and see what happens. I didn't have any uh, expectations, but I really wanted to see if it can affect me in any way. I ordered the bottle from Pure Nootropics, which is one of the more reliable online stores for nootropics. Now I got a bottle with 90 capsules and each capsule contained about 100 milligrams of 5-HTP. Since the recommended daily dosage of 5-HTP is somewhere between 300 to 500 milligrams per day, I decided to take three to five capsules of this product that I ordered. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, I didn't know what to expect from 5-HTP, but here is what happened. Firstly, I felt less hungry. There is no doubt about it that 5-HTP suppressed my appetite, and that's what it can actually do. Studies show that 5-HTP is one of the best appetite suppressors, and obviously it's really effective. So if you're overweight, then you may consider supplementing 5-HTP. Now, secondly, my sleep improved. So what I noticed during the time when I was supplementing 5-HTP is that I was sleeping slightly shorter than I usually do, but I was waking up more energized. And actually 5-HTP, because it can influence serotonin levels, it can also improve our sleep quality. And that's what it did in my case. And lastly, I was in a better mood. Now, generally, I'm a very anxious person. Um, I have lots of stress in my day, even though I know a lot of techniques uh, and tricks to minimize anxiety and stress, I'm still quite an anxious person. And when I was supplementing 5-HTP, this anxiety actually decreased, especially I noticed that during the time when I was supposed to be super stressed, so during the time of very stressed activity. Um, and that's what it did. Now, obviously this is based on my personal experience, but I definitely felt the effects and I was happy to see what's going on. Now, another good thing of supplementing 5-HTP is that I didn't experience any side effects. When I check out the research, I actually saw that the side effects are very rare, but the only proven potential side effect of supplementing 5-HTP is nausea. So if you experience nausea, well, you know, it's probably because of 5-HTP. I also checked if there are any other compounds that you can combine 5-HTP with, and there are quite many. Now, personally, I would recommend combining it with saffron, Inositol, uh, St. John's Wort is great, but also tryptophan. However, keep in mind that too much serotonin in your brain will actually decrease the amount of dopamine, which would actually mean that you may feel better, you'll be in a better mood, but on the other hand, your motivation will decrease uh, and you have issues with uh, attention span and so on. So you need to be careful and smart about this. Now in the beginning of the video, I promised you I'll tell you who should definitely avoid supplementing 5-HTP. And who is that? Well, those are people who are on SSRIs. So people who have a certain type of depression or anxiety um, and they're taking those drugs. Because if you're taking SSRIs with 5-HTP, this could be very, very dangerous. Of course, always listen to a doctor in this case and be careful, you don't wanna mix these compounds together. By the way, did you know that you can boost serotonin levels with eating the right types of foods? Actually, I prepared a special video in which you can learn about the best brain foods for optimal 
brain performance and cognition. Just click up here, watch the video, and I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, and guys, I hope to see you soon again. Take care.